Practical Machine Learning with Python. Six four B hierarchical clustering example. We can see again the characteristics of the hierarchical clustering approach. There are two strategies uh, in the hierarchical, hierarchical clustering, agglomerative and versus divisive. There are two sequential clustering strategies for construction a tree of, tree of clusters. Agglomerative of bottom to up strategy. Initially, each data object is in its own atomic cluster. Then, merge these atomic clusters into larger and larger and larger clusters. Divisive is a top-down strategy. Initially, all the objects are in the one single cluster. Then, the cluster is subdivided into smaller and smaller, uh, smaller clusters. This is a flow, a flow chart of the agglomerative algorithm. We can see in detail with the example. We can see a data matrix, this representation, graphical, and over the features x1 and x2, we can calculate the Euclidean distance, like this, and form in a distance matrix, symmetrical, the distance between B and A is the same between A and B. And we, find, and we can find uh, the minimal distance between the elements D and F. D and F have the minimal distance. We can see in the in the graphic the the cluster, the first cluster. The matrix shows the the cluster DF, this cluster DF, and how calculate the distance in the elements and clusters or between clusters. We choose the minimal approximation and calculate the distances between the cluster DF and A, DF and B, DF and C, D between uh, E and DF. And we have the new distance matrix including the first cluster df using the criteria single linkage minimal in the new distance matrix we can see the minimal distance this between b and a, a new cluster. When we cluster the A and B, generate a new question, a new distance matrix in this second iteration. The new distance matrix can be recalculated using the single linkage again as the second uh, second stage of the second iteration and we obtain the new new distance matrix with two clusters df and ab 
and we can see a new minimum. This uh, new minimum corresponds uh, of the distance between the first cluster DF and the element E. As can we can see in the in the graphic, that forces a calculate that new matrix distance in the third iteration and find that new minimum. Reclustering minimum distance is an iterative process and this is the final, re final result is the termination condition. This is the initial data matrix, features and elements. And this is the grouping we, we we have made. Dendrogram is, in a, is a tree representation of the process uh, as the process clustering. In abscissas, we have the name of the object. In uh, ordinate, we have the lifetime. Lifetime or distances. As the squares, uh, red squares, we, we have uh, fine. The step one, in the beginning, we have these atomic clusters. A, B, C, D, A, F. In the step two, in the step two, we merge clusters D and F in the cluster D, F at distance 0 0.5 here. In the step 3, merge cluster IA and cluster B in the cluster AB at distance 0.71. And we can see all the all the steps and the last cluster 6 contain all the objects. To conclude the computation. As a summary, we can see the hierarchical algorithm is a sequential clustering algorithm, sequential iterative, using distance matrix to construct a tree of clusters called uh, the neuron. Hierarchical representation without the need of now knowing a number of clusters, we can set um, uh, ever we can set termination condition with no number of clusters, but is necessary. Major weakness of agglomerative clustering methods uh, are can never undo what was done previously. Senses uh, and uh, sensitive to cluster distance measures and noise, noise outliers can modify the structure of the distance matrix and respect to complexity is less efficient. Goodbye.